Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today is the Friday, the 24th of May, and I am going to redo a video that I did one when I was in Cyprus showing on how I used my good reader for my hates. So what I have done is um I'm gonna redo it because I used the screenshot and you can't see where my hands go. And I'm hoping this works because I had, did have the light on but you could see my head. So I've turned them off. So what I've done is I've gone on the heaven and I think this is one of the free charts. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use my dabby pen to see if it works. So there's a square at the top. We're going to tap on that. And I'm going to put it this one in. I'm not going to use my good nose, I'm going to use my good reader. Because that's what I tend to use for my hates. And it brings it up. So this is a free chart and at the bottom you get a scroll and it tells you how many pages if I tap on it. And you can tap on individual ones or you can go back to the beginning. So what we're going to do is it's going to scroll across. It's going to tell you your colours on how and if you the first three pages is your symbols. You can you can pinch and zoom and it'll give you your symbols. And I think you can hear a door downstairs. We've got some wind, so hopefully it won't bang. But if you go on to the next page, say like DMC1, which is 464, it tells you how many full stitches it takes, which is there, and how many skeins you will need. So one of the colours is 310. And it takes 13.7, so you show you would need 14 skis. Oh, black, that's a lot of black. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to tap on it again. We're going to go to page one. So, this is our first page, and I have it. You could, I could turn it around the other way. I tend to have it this way, and it disappears until you want it. This is page one. Now, when you come to a certain page, this is a full page, we're trying to find a partial. Right, here we have a partial, so this is page two, and we have a partial. But when I do it, I will end on the, I will go on to the next page and end my full page on that. So after what I will do is I'll tap the middle and you've got this button in the bottom right hand corner so it's like a line with two two arrows that will give you your split screen so we're going to I'm going to zoom in make it bigger so you can see what we're doing bring the up page here. I'll use my hands so this grey is will be the last three rows of whatever page number we're on. So I need to go to page next page please. Thank you. So if this is actually number four, because this one's number three. So say we're working on the second square. We'll go across. So this three lines is this three here and what I tend to do is I will sometimes go all the way across but sometimes I leave a little grey line and I know that is my split screen so if I want to mark this side off I will tap it and I will use the highlight the highlight doesn't work on all patterns but it works on it does work on hates I've not found a hate that has a problem and it says do you want to create do you want to save it to file I always create an a noted copy so I am working on a copy not working on my main so I will tap on it again and I am going to work in I'm going to change some colors so say I'm gonna oh no I use that one for something else I'm gonna make a pink so I am going to work on that 
Und dauern. Them stitches. So I'm going to save that. Go on to the next bit. Do the same. Oh, why was it like that? Um, create. Don't know why it's done that. Sometimes it just does. It's silly. So these are the stitches in this square I'm going to work on. So this is a 10 by 10 square. So once I have stitched what I'm doing, I would go to my blue and I would stitch all the colours. Save that. Come on the next one. But if you catch the the pink, you can change it if you make a mistake. And sometimes it just jumps. That's the only thing I wish they'd sort out where it would not jump because it gets pain in the backside. So I am on the blue. So say I have stitched all these. And I want to know where my next one is. So if I save it. So I know my next one is here. Now what I tend to do is I tend to hold it. And I will change its colour, which I will change it to a lighter blue. And I know that is my part thread. Now if you get a pattern that won't let you use that, which this one will, you can tap on the squiggly line at the bottom and so we're using these and we'll go in, I'll leave it on the blue, you can use, you can do it yourself, it's just as good, you can alter how big it is, just cancel that a minute. No, I'm gonna rub them out. Cause it... See, if I go back in, squiggle. I've got it on three points. It might not be as big. There you go. That's a better size. And you can use your finger. Doesn't matter. You can go anywhere you want. And then you can use your back button and the back button. And then you get how I tend to have on 75 so that you can actually see what's there. If you have it on the 100, it will do that, and I don't like that, it's too much. So I tend to leave around about the three to three to the five points. And I think if you can, some of them you can, I don't know if you can tap on to make it your own. On this one, you can't, some, some you can. But if you decide you want to use, and it's jumping again, seriously. Another way you can do it is you can tap on the ABC that's got the line through it. So I'll leave the red on so that you can see it. And you can do it that way. That will work. Some people use that, as I don't tend to use it. So I'll cancel that. And I had one pattern where the black line for the squares wasn't very bright so what I had to do on one is tap on the line now we'll make this black so I'll make it a different colour I'll make it red and drop a line in and you get it where you want and I use that for one of my lines and then if you decide you need to you move it or you want to change its colour you can and you can make it as thick as you want to, which doesn't mean that's too thick. I think I know that's about a 1. So 0 0.5 isn't too bad, it's a bit thin. So a 1 is quite good. That one's quite good if you need it to go in a particular spot. But we can delete that, we don't need that. I'm trying to think. I think the ABC, which has got the underlying works as well, because I don't really use these. So that one's quite good. That one will work. But only certain charts where it will work with. Hades are quite good. So if I bring it back to where I was, I'm going to take them away. Don't need that. Now you sometimes you get a haze where I've got a. I 
we go on that one and I'm hoping Easy PDF is, is telling me that. So that's the freebie chart and you can jump it to the sides and then it will put it on top of each other and that can be quite good if you are doing if you know you are on page two but you want to go down to the very very bottom and you want to work on this page so you want to work on row 90 and then the next page next, the rest of the page is on the hundred so if I go on the right page no I'm not there you go page one So this is the, the page below page one. So you can work from there and it'll do the same. And on here, if I go to page one, page one, page one slash page whatever number of page this one is seven to so say I want maybe this one which is on pe the second block on page seven go down to seven five six seven are you going to let me have seven, please? Yes. So I want to know, is there any more of these? So I would tap to the search. There's a button at the bottom. I never tend to use I tend to just use this one. Tap that. Tap away. And it's going to tell me where the next block is. So I know the next one is down here. And I can mark that in my ABC and use that as my um, my pock red and that's always where it sits so I would normally either go one across or one down I don't tend to do any more than that I think it's too much some people will go maybe two or three blocks down some people will go a whole page down I just don't see the point in wasting your thread I tend to go one block down or one block across I can go to so we can go either across that way or across that way does it matter? Or down into this block, and you can go down to this block, or even this block. So it will be in the vicinity. It'll be one block, either down, but it won't. It'll never be up because I'd have already got it, unless there's something there that hasn't got anything in it, and I might put it in that spot. But it's normally within one block of the square I'm working on. So what I'm going to do is. I am going to close this. I am going to go and open my head and I'm going to pick which, whichever one I'm going to do. Um, I won't be able to show you the chart, but I can show you what I do for my park stitches and how I stitch my head. So I shall be back in a bit and we'll see how we get on. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm back. Right, I am going to work on my mini iridescent by heaven and earth and my ipad is on my stand which is on my left so you won't be able to see it but um because um i can't show what it looks like anyway so what i've done is i am working on this square here and then i shall show where park threads goes to because and i've got one pair of park thread here is I need to make sure that is my right colour and I think that is where I last so yes so I am working on seven and nine six but what I'm going to do is because they've got symbols on I need to print them off and stick them on to the card so I know where the symbols are I haven't done that yet so I'm gonna 
I'm going to find my needle and I have one here because I've actually threaded some needles up ready to go and I'm using size 26 because I'm using 18 count and I think this one might be a bit big and I use the petite ones as well I think this needle will be fine now I tend to work with my left hand on top my dominant hand is always underneath I don't know why I find for me it works so much easier to have my dominant hand underneath and I need to just I should have moved my table forward so I am going to stitch down how many I've got to do One, two, three. Four stitches. I will mark off because I already ha already had the first one in. Um, I should go because um, on this ch chart it's not too bad. I haven't got to any serious um, confetti yet, and that's when I would mark it. But I only work in the ten by ten square, so I've had some on my other head, which is my angel, and there was like nine colours in one square and. That's where I tend to mark the squares off I'm going to work on. And then once they're done, I'll mark them off in another colour. So why I'm doing this, I might as well um, I have a really good story. Um, I got home from visiting being with my daughter in Cyprus because um, she's not long had a baby baby is he's just 10 three months and he is a very big boy he's already in more or less in three to six months clothes he's, he's just he's just nice and chunky it's the first time we've had a chunky baby um, I went out in January I'm trying to think when in January it was beginning of January or somewhere around the somewhere between the beginning to the middle can't remember where um, I had a phone call from her she'd gone down on one of the steps into her living room and her foot went crack so she cracked a bone in her foot and ended up in a plastic cast seven months pregnant as well which did not help so I ended up out there two months before he was born and for two months after When I flew home on the 11th of May, which is one of my daughter's birthdays, it's my second daughter, it's her birthday. Um, we was on the Greek, the, the, the flight is on the Greek side and we were on the Turkish side. So now I am going to park, park my thread, which is the next, so it's one, two, the third block down. That's my park thread. I shall leave it there. I'll mark the other ones off I have done and then I change colour to the light blue and put my pot thread in and then change it back to the dark blue staples. So I am going to, I've already got some needle threads up, so I'm going to do a slightly different blue, even though it looks the same, but it's very, very slightly different. Do you have one that's got? No. So I am um, back up in the top corner. So yes, so when we got to this border, which separates the north, the, the Turkey side, which is the north side, which is what they are, to the Greek side. And they are sat there talking and looking at my passport. 
and we was like looking at each other and we like, oh dear, do we have a problem? Yes, we had a problem. Because I had been over there for, which we did not realise that more than 160 days without actually going over the other side of the border. Yes. Um, they spoke to him and he said to me, he said, do you have any convictions of any sort? And I was like, no. And he says, well, you have on the, the Turkish side now. I was classed as an illegal immigrant. And we were like, yeah, I've got to be kidding. And hold on, I've just marked something too much. Um, and they were like, yeah. And I was like, well, what happens? He says, right, he says, you can either, the fine was, where if it's where, where it's around about £500. I was like, uh, okay. And he says, the other way to do it is you can't to come back on, I can't go to Turkey or go on the Turkey side for 12 months. And I don't know what happens after. I don't know if it clears it or what. But yeah, so that means I can't enter the country at the moment. Really annoying. For something we haven't even done. So it wasn't the best of best. It was hilarious. We had to laugh at it. We had no choice. And it was just like brilliant. And um, my husband kept on about it. He says, you're going to end up as an, an illegal immigrant, jokingly. And yes, it actually happened. And I just caught this in the wrong bit. So that was interesting. Then when we got to the airport, she says, have you got any hand luggage? I showed my hand luggage. She says, well, you can't hold your purse. That has to go in your hand luggage. And I was like, oh, you have a lovely day. I was having a glorious day by this point. So I was like, that's fine. She said, so if, she said, when you go through security, you need to move your handbag. They, they, they couldn't have cared. So I stuck my hand, I took out what I wanted out of it, which was basically my flight stuff and my passport. Then go through security. And I've got my hands, basically just hold on to my hands. And the guy is like gesturing with his arms. They don't speak any English. And I set the alarms off, so uh, so yeah, so they checked me for. It's basically she checked my hands. I don't know why, because I, I don't wear any jewelry. The jewelry I wear is my, my rings, my, my wedding ring. I mean, that's it. It's the only jewelry I had on. Um. So by the time I got through, it was like, and I had a good hour and a half before. I flew, which was good because I've had it once before where I actually literally just made the flight because the flight was late. So I'm going to do, make sure I get the right rate, one, two, three, four. Done one wrong, I think. There. No, I haven't. I thought I have. It's one here. So, yes, yeah, so by the time I actually got on got home I was like um we were daughter had um she was having a barbecue at her house and they don't live that far from Birmingham Airport so we went and seen them for a little bit not for too long we went for about an hour so I had a cup of tea a bit of food and she she got these chocolate fudge things my husband got and I was like am I so I shared them with the children but yes I had quite I had about three or four so I need some chocolate and then we came home my youngest daughter stayed with her sister for a few days and then my husband ends up getting a really nasty cold and then on the Tuesday so we had 
um, my border collie she's been very poorly very very poorly she lost a lot of weight she had a checkup on the Tuesday, the Monday the vet took blood she says can you bring her back tomorrow we need to check her tomorrow so we took her back on the Tuesday and we had to have her put to sleep on the Tuesday which was a shock to all of us but we, we were we actually did say she'd only If we'd have left her like she was, she'd have gone downhill very, very fast, and we didn't want to put her through that. But um, while she was sat there, she always goes and plays with the um, the door stoppers they have. They, she just loves them. She's just going to pick them up and walk them around, carries them around. And she doesn't do it at home. If she if she if she can find the one at home, she will get it. But um, when she's there. So she played with that for a little bit while they sorted everything out we needed to have done. And I've had some really nice, um, I've had two lovely cards. I had one off the nurses and one off the vets themselves from this week. So it's been a... Not the best of few weeks we've had. I'm going down, go down one, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you are there. I've had a few people say um, that they've been struggling to cope with so many colours at once. I try to do where I do diagonal blocks, so I, so my next block will be here. And then I will do so. I, I work in staggering blocks. Some people work in diagonals. I've tried that, cannot do it. Um, I know a few people I know do, uh, just make sure I'm doing the right one, that one, that one. Um, where they work in one colour all the way across, I don't know how I'm going to be doing in one colour all the way across, at all, I would end up getting myself lost completely. Yeah, I've put a couple in the wrong spot, so I know they're going to come out. My next one's a hit. So yes, what I try to do. I was doing one here. I was doing um, the mini bath time, and I didn't enjoy it. I started doing that one. Um, where you did columns that way I just couldn't get on with but I, I wasn't enjoying it I wasn't enjoying the colours so I was like no if I'm not enjoying something it can come out and I've took it out twice and I should just reuse the fabric for something else it's, like, it's not going to work and I need to put my iPod on try before it dies on me 
and I'm looking if I have a charger right next to me. So normally when I'm up here, I have, let me put my, um, I've been watching on YouTube, it's called, they're called the Scary Game Squad, and my daughter start. she watches, she's been watching them for a long time, and when, why was it, especially when the children have been, because they're definitely not child friendly at all. would get the children asleep and then we would put it on and yes they do come out with a few choice words sometimes it's so 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 funny so I'm not going to be able to actually park this next one in these corners because it's too, too it's not worth it so I should just push it out of the way I'll put it to one side and I'll finish it off later So we watch them and I've been and I can basically just listen to what they talk about because they had one they were playing one of the Resident Evil games and they were having a discussion on the difference between a waiting room and a lounge and every now and again this would pop up what is the difference between a waiting room and a lounge oh, and they would argue over it and it'd be and my husband would be like why are you laughing and I'm like no reason. And I, well, I actually told him the reason he went. Really? It was like, yes. I said, they're having a slight argument over the difference between a waiting room and a lounge. And there was another one, the difference between the lounge and a cafeteria. So, yeah. And then they'd end up squealing at something, especially one of them. Um, his name is Davis, and he is, he, he gets scared of the most simplest of things, it's so, so funny. So I actually have it on, um, quite often, oh I'll put, sometimes I'll put floss tube on, I'll put something on where I don't always look up, depends on what I'm watching, I don't tend to watch films when I'm stitching, depends on what it is, if I'm doing block colours then yeah I'm okay on that but um, my husband watches one I can't he's doing this self he does this self build he's out in the middle of nowhere I know he's in Canada but he's um, the majority of the time it's just him and his dog and he's building his own Basically, that's their own home, and he d he does some talking, but um, majority of the time he's just oh, caught in the wrong spot. He's just building away, and I just look up every now and again. We've been he just sits there and watches it. And then the other thing I do tend to do is I will listen to a um, an audio book. That's when I put headphones in. Unless I'm up here, I will put headphones in. So I have done these ones and I need to find... Hopefully I've got it in the next one down. Ah. Oh. which I have, but it's all the way in this block. So I have got a count, as you can go to the bottom one and count up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In one. Oh no, it's already there. Hold my back. I don't think it's anywhere else. 
Okay, so that colour is no good, so I shall put it up out of the way and I shall take it off later and I can reuse that. It's actually quite a good size. So I'm doing a colour which I haven't got it set up, so it's set in that. I've actually got the colours I need for these couple of squares for quite a bit. I think it's for most of this page. Oh, they're here, just these colours. So I actually pulled out the ones I needed. So I'm, um, I am just, just till I can get it sorted properly. And then I actually, actually have it what I need. So it's 798. someone asked me on what I do to work out how long my strands are so I actually hold it with my fingertip and I will go to my elbow then I will double it and that's how long I have mine unless it's one stranded if it's one stranded I will do it to my elbow and then I will just cut it from there but I find it's long enough The needle I've got is a little bit long, it's not my normal one. I use petite ones, and they are quite a bit smaller. This one is a little bit bigger than what I use. So it's, I normally use the smaller ones. I'm using this one at the moment, it's not bad, it's a little bit big. just swap into a small one. I find the small petites, I've got so used to using them that I don't tend to, I normally tend to use the bigger needles to unpick my work. I use a normal size 24, 26, 28, normally 24, 26 but I do have 28 as well. So I'm using 26s and 28s and they're quite, I'm using the John James and I actually very, very rare I break a needle. Don't very often break a needle. On your occasion, you are not break a needle, and I've said that. And but I, whenever I buy them, I buy um, I buy mine on eBay. I've got a couple of places that do them, but um, I will sometimes buy maybe a couple of packs at a time. Because then I know I want, especially if I'm going to travel, then I do make sure I've got some. Push them over. And if I need to, I shall put these strands around the back of that out of the way. Just get it out of the way. slowly adding more lighter colours in as I'm doing it. And I've actually got my stand a little bit further away from my body than I, um, than I normally have it because I actually didn't realise I've actually moved my chair too far back. Well, I just, I'm going to do a small pattern in 25 count and it'd be two strands using um I've got a knot. I feel like I've got something on the back. Oh it's not, it's just a thread. 
um, or Continental 10 stitch, I'm going to have a go, but I do like, so far I prefer um, working on four crosses. It's my preferred method. And I've got to put a, a colour there that I haven't put in, I've missed it out. Do that in a sec. So my part thread for this colour is literally directly underneath it. So I shall pop the thread, mark it off. I'm going to put this one back up because I haven't put one in there. Let me shove it out of the way because I don't need it after that. up the next colour which is a, a lighter blue again and fill the rest of this in Now I'll put some more um, needle minders on as I get more threads, just to push them, just to hold them out of the way because it find that it works great for holding them out of the way. This square is nearly done. And then I'll show you what I am. I have my, I started gridding using the silky sliver thread. Oh, it's driving me bonkers, so I've stopped using that. My friend, I tried using the one of the washable pens, I didn't like that. It's a pain in the backside. And then the friend suggested she uses one of the friction pens, and this is and it's great, you get really good lines. And if it did show up on this, no one can see it anyway because um, it says on the thing as long as you don't go. Higher than 60 degrees. I'm not going to get 60 degrees in the UK at all. Really? No, it's not going to happen. And I can't think minus something or other. It's got to be really severely, severely, really cold for anything to show up. And we're going back. I need to look down to see if I've got any more of this one. Circle. Right, the circle is this corner here. So it's two down, the second one down, it's four across. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That is where it's going to be, that's its 
path thread. So I should mark it off. And I know that's my path thread. That is the first one. Then when I come to do my next one, I will do... of the way I don't think I have any more um, I normally have some more magnets with me I need to sort them out to have moved them so I will come down to my next one pick up the stitch one I will move them up to the top Put them over there so they don't dangle. Don't want anything dangling around the back in case I stitch it by accident. So I will come to my next square, which I'll do. I'll do a bit of the next square. So I know this is my part thread. I'm going to stitch it normal, and I will stitch the part thread first before I do anything else. Let me highlight one now. I'm going to come all the way down near the bottom. So we are on four, one, two, three, four, in one. So down here. That's where the next one is. And my next part thread is that one there. So I will mark them off, change the highlight colour, which is mine's like a very, very pale blue. And I change it back to the other blue. And we'll go back to the part thread. So I will pick the next one, which is that one there. It's like a flower. There's one there, and there's one all the way across the corner, so I'm just going to go across and stick it in. Actually, the one that's across this corner, I'm going to leave it because it's right next to where this one is. And I'll put this one in that one instead, so that one I'm not going to touch. I'm going to leave that one alone, because it's... It's just easier sometimes to just leave the odd one and put that in if you've got one which is this is the same colour this particular one This is how I do my head. and I find working these 10 by 10 squares in the diagonal, um, find it. I don't get bored doing it that way because you're doing especially if you've got some, especially if you've got like it's all block work all across the top, but 
I find this way you, you're getting more stuff done and I find it, it it works out quicker it does for me anyway I enjoy it this way and I don't tend to get lines but I am I'm careful that I don't pull my work too tight anyway just to make sure that I don't tend to get lines where you can see where the bin I had it on my other hay diver. So I shall come to the end of this and then I shall go because I'm going to have grandchildren here soon. And they'll come looking for me. And the mob says anyway, they won't be able to get up here. Well, grandson will be able to go with me. He, he's been up here, they, but they're not allowed to up here unless they're with me anyway. to the end of this and it sounds like they're here the square below it. Come on. In the right one. Right, so I am going to go. So that is, I should put the rest, finish, finish this off in a bit when it's quiet. And I shall, um, I'll speak to you all soon. So that is how I do mine and my pen I use. is by Pilot and it's called it's a friction pen and it's a 0 0.7 so yeah so this one works great and that's what I use so I've got to go because I've got people here and I shall speak to you all soon I'll see you later bye